Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Man United Let's Play Episode 4. Um, just to recap the last episode, we played Bournemouth in the Premier League. We won 4-2 at home, so a bit of a goal frenzy there. We have a little reminder of the match stats. We had 20 shots with 9 on target. 6 of them were off target. <clears throat> One clear-cut chance and Bournemouth had 4. Oh, I must have been looking at the wrong side the other day. Bournemouth had four clear-cut chances against R1. That's pretty bad. Uh, but we still have won the game 4-2, so that's something we need to look at, really. If we only had 51% possession. Um, we had two corners, Bournemouth had four. Committed five fouls, Bournemouth committed nine. 85% of passes completed against 82. So that's a little bit worrying that Bournemouth had so many shots and so many clear-cut chances. We did see them play a bit of counter-attacking football and we did see them, uh, Carl Wilson, going through a couple of times, through on goal a couple of times, um, playing on the counter-attack. They didn't score, um, but we had quite a lot of opportunities, so something to keep an eye on tactically. Let's have a little look at the tactics here. Um, we're playing positive, we were at home, we're playing gig and press possession. Like I say, we haven't really altered the, um, the preset much at all to be honest with you we're still playing with the pressing forwards two inside forwards uh, so something we can um, certainly look at maybe drop our defensive line a little bit lower um, might be an idea because although Lindelof does have, does, have, does have some pace Harry Maguire isn't blessed with the same attributes so something to look at we're playing Sheffield United at home that's what's coming up today We'll stick with the same tactics. We'll monitor how it goes against Sir John Lundstrom and team. And we'll go from there. Um, issues leading up to the game. We've just come off an international break. Um, some players have played well. Some players have got injured. Just send Mike to this press conference here. Um, Rashi's got injured. I think it's just a couple of days. Currently undergoing treatment for a sprained ankle. Between 11 days and 3 weeks. Um, with England, Fred is injured, three to five months we sent him to the specialist and um, apart from that Scott McTominay we were, had reports that he played a really good game for Scotland so we might consider bringing him into the into the squad for the game against Sheffield United although Sheffield United isn't a great fit for him as we spoke about before, he'd, he'd be coming into games where we're not so confident of winning. Just to shore up the midfield a little bit with his presence and defend, defensive ability. Um, again, we'll let Mike Freeland take control of these press conferences and team briefings. So we'll look at our training week in review. Neves did very well in training. So we won't be swapping Scott McTominay for Neves. So an 8.6 in training, which is good. I don't think we, we'll set a rule where we won't praise anyone in, unless they hit a 9. And then we'll start praising people. Um, and we won't criticise anyone unless they hit um, below 5. Mm. What do we think? Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good strategy. I'm just That's just off the cuff, that is. But 5 there. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. So, other issues leading up to the game, Eric Bailly um, changed his uh, position from being unhappy and not being able to move clubs to being happy to stay at United, but he's still concerned about his work permit issues. So, Bailly to consider leaving on a free transfer. I had a chat with Eric Bailly earlier today, and it's clear that the player has something he would like to discuss with you. Bailly is believed to be considering his future at the club, and whether to let his contract run its course. So, we'll have a little discussion here. But look, it's clear I'm not very happy about the situation. I have absolutely no concerns about running my contract down. Well, neither have I, to be honest with you, Eric. And leaving on a free at the end of the season. Unless something is done about it. That's fair enough. I won't be looking to sell you. So we'll be parting ways. Well, when you put it like that, we made a little choice but to cash in on you once we have a chance. I'm more than happy to leave you rotting in the reserves until the end of the season. Hardly irreplaceable. I won't be able to ransom. 
But I won't be held to ransom by Felix saying that, but I don't want to destroy his morale. That's fair enough. I won't be looking to sell you early, so we'll be parting ways when your deal expires. Or, or when you put it like that, you leave me no choice. Well, I won't be blackmailed by players. Look, it's clear I'm not very happy about the situation. There's absolutely no concerns about running my contract down. I'm just going to say, well, that's fine. You made your bed. You have to lie in it, keeps him happy. Um, and then you obviously try and change his mind um, before the end of the season. But it's not a problem if you don't. I mean, he is quite good. He is an asset, 16.5, and he is athletic, and he's got strength. See these here. Um, but I'm confident we can turn his position around. He's good at tackling as well, isn't he? By 17, marking 15, heading 14, positioning 15. So he's quite a good defender. The only concerns I have, like I've spoken about before, is his concentration, composure levels. Uh, he's definitely not someone I, I don't, don't ever want anyone to leave on a free unless I'm really trying to get rid of him. <clears throat> so I'm confident we can turn that around. He'll change his decision. We can offer him a new contract. But we've kept him happy for now. So that's good. Here we are, like I said, Sheffield United at home. They're currently 14th in the league. And in real life at the moment, Chris Wilder has got them fourth in the Premier League. They're playing great football. Uh, undefeated in the Premier League. Very innovative tactically. He's got his three centre backs that overlap his full backs, his wing backs, which uh, is something we haven't really seen before. I'm interested to try and recreate that tactic in Football Manager, but like I said, for now, we're just going to go with the presets and tinker them as, as and when we need to. Um, the underlying stats in the Bournemouth game weren't good, looking at it. Viewing our last game. So we'll see if that was just a one-off or and we'll see how that works out today. So, like I said, Rashford's injured. So Martial will come straight in for him on the left. Perfect. And we'll keep Mason Greenwood on the right because he was the man of the match in the last game. Dembele up front. Pogba, Madison and Neves. Luke Shaw, High Maguire, Lindelof and Juan Masaka. That's um, one of our strongest teams. Rashford can get replaced there on the bench with someone who's performing in training. All our players team performing in training, training and Angel Gomez is as well. So we'll get Angel Gomez in there. Phil Jones, maybe. Mm. Not too sure about that. Maybe put Phil Jones and put Tansy either. Mm. Or Phil Jones and put Dalio. Good, we're happy with that. Okay, so I remember a couple of games ago we weren't diligent enough with our team selection. So today we are going to be. So we've got Lingard, we've got a, he's a winger for us, or the inside forward. Pereira, attacking central midfield. Phil Jones, anywhere across the back. John Seedy, centre back. Attacking midfield. Scott McTominay has performed well in training. Covers every area of the pitch, really, apart from striker. But we've got uh, two, we've got two, our three strikers playing and one of them's injured so maybe we need to bring someone like Dan James into the team Z and let's check his position and ability here. <laughs> Overview attributes positions so he's yellow there. It's probably similar to to Lingard to be honest he's orange so that's fine. If worst comes to worst we have to just stick Jesse up front or but we got three of these with this. We'll stick one of these guys up front, actually. If anything, the worst comes to the worst. So that's not a problem. We're happy with that. Stick with the same uh, tactics that we played against Bournemouth. We won 4 2. But again, like we said, the underlying statistics weren't the greatest. But um, something we can monitor now. It's okay. So they're playing a Billy Sharp, a captain. Absolute legend in, in the game. Absolute legend in football manager as well. Finishing composure. The ball, someone to be wary of. Obviously, coming up to his senior years, Mike did a good press conference there, a good uh, team talk rather. There's always a first time for everything. And we kick off. Hmm, 
seven minutes. Three shots, one on target, for 78% possession. Dembele finds himself on the left, gets fouled by Chris Egan. It could be a red card. And there it is. That's a red. You can usually tell by the way the slow walk up to the referee and the replay. They didn't normally replay yellow cards. Plays into our hands a little bit. Well, massively. But it's a little bit disappointing because it won't give us a true reflection of how our tactics are working because we're playing against an inferior um, number of players. So we will dominate this game statistically because obviously we've got the extra one. And if we don't, there's something wrong. So the team instructions here, you can you can look to play a bit wider because you've got that extra man, you want to spread the ball across the pitch. Stretch the team, find the gaps. On the corner there, it didn't quite work out how we want them to. Maybe we'll have a look at the next one. See where they're going wrong. Pogba shot from outside the box. Yeah, as you'd expect, obviously, complete domination. Okay, so pause it there. Ruben Neves just played it into the near post into my number 11, which is uh, Marsh, not Martial, Greenwood. Who am I playing? Martial, Greenwood, and Jesse Lingard. Madison's outside the box. Maguire's being marked by Bessage. Again, not happy with that outcome from the corner. And Ruben Nevis spreads it wide to Juan Bissaka, who finds himself a lot of space, takes a shot. Another corner. Okay, so Madison just about to strike the ball. Harry Maguire is completely unmarked with my number eight at the back there. Pogba, is it? You got three on one here, eh? essentially. Stevens is marked by Greenwood. Dembele has been marked by Freeman. You've got O'Connell, Jagielka, two centre backs. Three centre backs there, and you've got Maguire there. If James Madison doesn't deliver this to Harry Maguire, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's gone in that general direction. Looks like Pogba's going to win the ball. Okay, it was a good corner. It's very concerning that we're 35 minutes and they've had a red card and they're not winning the game, but again, if we look at the underlying statistics, absolutely dominating 17 shots to nil, 74% possession to 25 be a matter of time. Change the positive to attacking just to get that extra bit of speed into the game. Just a bit of urgency. Looks like they've changed their formation and gone with two up front. Doesn't affect us. They're probably just trying to manage the fact that they're losing a man. Missing a man. The corner. Penalty. Followed by Bessage. Is it? Yep. Marsh Allen taking it. That's a good point. I don't think I've set up my penalty takers, but Marshall buries it anyway. That's absolutely fine. Definitely something I need to look at the penalty takers. You never want someone, you never want to come to a crucial penalty in the game and see someone stepping up for it that you're not confident with just because you haven't done your due diligence and you haven't set up your penalty takers by penalty taking skill and composure. Obviously shooting and finishing as well is important. But they're absolutely dominating this game. Pogba the short and then by Let's go. Well done. Dembele and Martial both on the score sheet. Absolute domination. 
28 shots. Okay, at this point it could be looking at seeing some legs. Okay, so we've got James Madison with 71. We've got Scott again, I would say, who performed well in the international break. Lucio, Neves and Pogba are the next three. So we can have a lot of left, yeah, we've got left back cover on the bench. So Luke Shaw can stay on Neves. We can change for Pereira. In fact, I want to give Go and Angel Gomez again. So we'll put Angel Gomez on for Marshall and Dembele. Greenwood. We'll just double check what preferred foot Angel Gomez is. We can play on the left wing as either foot or we can play on the left wing preferably. So we'll just do a little bit of that there. Switch a number. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So Angel Gomez, as we know, is a bright talent for the future. We want to get as much minutes as possible, as many minutes as possible, as much game time as possible. Um, to help that development. He's not going to develop if he, enough or as good as he potentially can if you don't give him game time. Okay, so Ruben Neves has gone down to, sure has gone down to 66%. So maybe we'll put uh, Phil Jones on. Left back. Lindelof scored. Is that from a corner? Let's see the replay. From a free kick from Neves, goalkeeper parries it out to Lindelof. Good times, it's always good. Proceed with changes, yeah, we'll proceed with that changes. Excuse me, it's always good to see a centre back chipping in with goals. You can see the underlying statistics are absolutely huge today. They've had a red card, so you don't need too much into that. We'll have to still monitor it going forward. How are these tactics are working? Do we need to change anything? It obviously work against a side with 10 men, we can see that. So it's something to bear in mind, keeping your mental notes. Phil Jones here, yeah, probably not that comfortable at left back. But he plays a great ball to Dembele. <laughs> wow, route one. Very direct. Nice ball from Phil Jones there. Great vision. Great movement from Dembele. Checks and goes. Fantastic stuff. Okay. So, 4 0, 93 minutes gone. Um, and that's it. Roll on episode 5. Um, next time, we'll be playing in the Europa Cup against Slavia Prague at home. So, that's a, a good time to kind of look at these tactics again. See how they work in Europe. Classy Dembele on form for Man United. Brandon Williams. Get a quiet game for Swansea. Strike a bag, the best goal of the game late on after a great ball from Sir Philip Jones. Fantastic. So, yep, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Next time, Manchester United in Europe. See you then.